Closer to home, police failed to retrieve deleted data from the cell phones of those in the house with Senzo Magiwa when the Bafana Bafana captain was shot and killed in 2014. This is despite a police witness conceding that this is usually done during such investigations. Now, a former uh, police sergeant, Alphys Moshwana, testified that he downloaded data from cell phones belonging to Mogiwa's girlfriend, Kelly Komalo, his sister, Zandi, uh, Zandi uh, Tumelo Matlala, and Longwe Twala. ENCA reporter Maloka Malota was in court and filed this report. Former police sergeant Elphas Mushwana told the court that the XRY software couldn't override Senzo Meiwa's iPhone password, but he succeeded in downloading data from the other cell phones. However, he did not retrieve their deleted information. But was it part of your mandate to check if there's any deleted information? Yeah, usually we have to check that. Bogonjo hello ke into na le yokufanele siyibhekeke ukuthi akukho yini okucishiwe ke noma okudivithiwe. Yes, were you able to what was your finding in this regard? Or oh, let's put it this way, did you check for that in this specific matter? I didn't. Previously, the police cell phone and data analyst Lambertas stayed testified that a SIM swap was done on Meiwa's phone the day after he had died. But the credibility of the downloaded data information has come under scrutiny from one of the defense lawyers, Zandilem Shololo. Can I clarify this? The issue of tampering with the XRY-related uh, data, it, it, uh, your lordship is impossible. Yeah, Where were they kept to avoid any tampering? Because you know you understand it better and you are saying it's impossible. Why you say it's impossible? It's because of what? It's an encrypted document that you cannot access and, and alter information. The court has also heard how another police sergeant, Petros Nkosi, downloaded information from a cell phone that belonged to accused number three, Mtobis Nube. Previously, the court heard that a cell phone number used by accused number five, Fizogu Kentuli, phoned Kelly Kumalo's number first on the 2nd of August 2014 and secondly on the 15th of October. This was before Meiwa was killed on the 26th of October that same year. The trial will resume on Monday with a new state witness expected to take the stand. Moluku Muloto, Pretoria.